To begin our Frida Kahlo inspired self-portrait, we'll begin with a piece of paper. Make sure that you write your name on the back side of your paper and then we'll fold it in half vertically and horizontally. So going up and down and side to side. Next, drawing lightly, I'll begin with the shape of the head. I'll draw an oval or an egg shape for the shape of the head using the middle line, my middle fold line, as a line of symmetry. So that line that's going straight up and down is going to help me make sure that my face shape is the same size on both sides of my paper. So if I compare the left and right sides of my head based on where that line is, that'll help me make sure that my head is the correct size. Next, I'll draw my eyes on the middle line. Your eyes start about halfway down from the top of your head to the bottom of your chin. The eye shape is like a football or an oval almond shape. Then I can draw the iris, the colored part of my eye, and the pupil part of my eye. To do this, I just draw circles on the insides of the eye, and then I'll draw two curving lines above each eye for the eyelid. Next, I'll draw my eyebrow. Usually I just draw the general shape of the eyebrow. Draw my nose halfway down from the eyes and the chin. To do this, I draw a U shape, and then I draw two U's on either side, and two lines coming up towards the eyes. Next, we'll draw our mouth. Our mouth, I'd like to draw the middle line first, and then the top lip is like an M shape, like writing the letter M, and then a curving line for the bottom lip. Next, it's time to draw our ears. To draw your ears, your ears will line up with the top of your eyes, and then the bottom of your ears will line up with your nose. The inner ear is like the number six, so on the left side of my face, it'll look like the number six, and on the right side, it's like writing a backward six. Next, we'll draw our neck. Your neck lines up with your pupils, so if you go to your pupil, go straight down like an, drawing an imaginary line, you can draw your neck shape down underneath your chin. Finally, you can draw your hair. When I draw my hair, I like to think about where my part is and then draw the general shape of my hair around my head. Your hair lifts up off your head, so it'll look more dynamic if you draw your hair coming up off of your head. Lastly, you can erase any lines that you need to. Draw your shirt and shoulders, and then begin to draw the things that you identify with in the background to make it a Frida Kahlo inspired self-portrait. I'm choosing to draw nature-like objects like vines and leaves and grass.
You can now color your portrait. You can color your whole portrait using crayons if you'd like or another material like colored pencils or markers. However, what I'm doing here is outlining with a black crayon and then I'll paint the things that I would like to paint. There are some things that I choose to leave unpainted so that I can add emphasis and element of art to those areas of my painting. Emphasis is where you're adding focus to certain things that you'd like to stand out. Now I can begin to paint with my watercolor paints if this is what I decide to do to color my portrait. When you're using watercolor paints, it's just like when you're using your liquid paints, you want to make sure you're washing your brush out between each color. You can still mix colors as well, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm mixing my green and my yellow to make a lighter green. So as you can see, you put each color into the top part of the watercolor tray, wash your brush out between colors, and mix together.